Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add watermarks to your images using NAN. So here I have an image. I'll show you the, the end result. So here's an image and here's my logo watermark. And all I did was add this image, stamp this on here. Now, full disclaimer, I got this from, I believe it was the community. And I previously, I did this with NAN, excuse me, with make.com using a Cloudinary, but I, since I moved over to NAN, they don't really have a good API for Cloudinary, and I was trying to connect through the HTTP request, but it just didn't work right. So what I ended up doing was finding in the community or uh, the pre-made builds, something like this. So this is really cool. So all you gotta do here is, and I'll, and I'll leave this in the, in the description of the video, this exact, like somewhere where you can, I'll leave a link to my blog where you can find this the code. So you can go in here, chain, add the, the, the logo, excuse me, the, place of the image so the background image right here and then over here you add the logo now I also added these two this wasn't included in the in the sample kit but I added this to resize the image so it's always going to be this size no matter what and this is always going to be this size no matter what so I get consistent uh, placement for the the watermark now I don't and I don't really get what this does I think it just gets the image that is already here so I think I could probably kill this entire one right here um, if I do, I, I can only imagine there's other ramifications for some of the other things here, but maybe not because there's a set note. So let's see, if I remove that, will this just continue and work properly? It may not. Uh, there we go, because this is prob was probably dependent on something there. So there's some room to optimize here. But the point is that, let's run that again. This, I don't know what, exactly what this one does either. It just sets, I, I don't know. But over here, there's a code that you can tweak to your liking to, to set wherever you want that logo. So if you don't want it on the bottom left or the bottom right, like I have it, you can set it to the bottom left or how many pixels you want it from the edge or whatever. Now you can, of course, just throw this into chat GPT and let it play with your settings however you want it. But if you want to do this, it's pretty simple and you can add this and throw it into your workflow. If you're creating blog posts on and you want to add a watermarked image every time, you can use this. So this is really cool again i'll have the link in the description where you can just copy this and bring it into your thing so thanks so much and that's it